you get on Sirius, you're working alongside Cypher Sounds in his mm -hmm. morning show. I know eventually he leaves. Do you go straight into your own morning show situation? Because I know you were doing lip service up there at, um, I don't know if it's the beginning or it's after Syph left. Yeah, so while I was on with Syph, they actually gave me lip service because I had this segment <laughs> that used to come on every Wednesday and it was called I Slut It Out. <laughs> and so, and it was, it was like a funny segment that I would tape with my girls like at night and then it was just random, like one girl was like a receptionist, one girl was an attorney, and it was just women anonymously, we gave each other fake names, there was no video, just talking about like our sex lives and things that we've done because what, the point I was trying to make is that women are sexual beings, it don't matter what you do for a living, we have our stories. And so there wasn't, I felt like a space where women could safely share those stories. And I wanted men to be able to hear them too, to understand like you you guys are looking at these video women and women in magazines, but we do the same things if we're a receptionist, if we're a doctor that these women are doing in our sex lives is no different. So you shouldn't judge people based off of what their occupation is. Mm -hmm. And there were some crazy stories on there. We actually did a mixtape for it too. DJ Wander, he did the Slut It Out mixtape. It is, so it was a good mixtape. And we did a Valentine's Day mixtape too that was really good. And I had a lot of... Um, celebrities that had contributed like their favorite um, love song for it. And I remember Nicki Minaj did it. Ray, it was a bunch of people that just gave like what their favorite song was and we just put it into the um, mixtape. But the whole point was just to show that. And that segment did so well once a week that they actually gave me my own nighttime show. And that's how Lip Service started. Oh, because wow. that segment was so good and people enjoyed it so much and it was really funny. And they were like, look, we want to give you like a nighttime show doing this. And you got to think when I was on Shade 45, I was the only woman at the time on the station. And so they used to think that because it was a really, a lot of truck drivers had series at the time. It was in the earlier stages and it was an all hip hop station. So to them, the demo was men. And they didn't know if men would want to listen to a show that a woman was running. And that's what their fear was. Can a woman hold it down? And will men change the station? But I think it was the opposite. I think they enjoyed hearing things from a woman's point of view and hearing women talk. And, but, you know, you just never know. And I think they they just were so like, I don't know, can a woman be on here? Are they going to listen? And so I got my own nighttime show and that did really well. When Cypher left to go to Hot 97 to do the morning show, they actually, he tried to bring me with him. And I had the option to, Sirius didn't want me to leave. And so they offered me a raise and the morning show to, for myself if I stayed. And I felt like that was a better opportunity for me to have my own show at that point than for me to go somewhere else and, um, you know, just be like a sidekick, mm -hmm. which honestly, if I didn't have that, that opportunity, it wouldn't have been a bad decision because I think for a lot of people in radio, Hot 97 was like the pinnacle of... Yeah where you could work and be on the air. It's not a lot of people that get that opportunity. So it was a decision for me and I decided to stay as serious and develop my own show. And then a few years later, they actually tried to get me to come on the show again and I still didn't do it. So I just, you know, I decided to stay just Were you doing both shows at the time? time? I'm, I'm sorry, were you doing both shows yeah. at the time, the morning and um, lip service once a week? Yeah, because lip service was only once a week. So that was easy. I came back at night once a week to do it. And I enjoyed lip service so much. Like we really honestly had such a great time. It was very uncensored back then. And I used to tell, what I would do is I like to have women co-host with me and then we'll have like a guy on. The whole point was to flip it so that the guy would be in the hot seat because usually yep. women would walk in a room to do an interview and it's a bunch of guys asking you questions. And now it's the guy walks in the room and it's a bunch of women asking you questions. And, and it's a whole different dynamic. Raw. Yo, yeah. Yo, yo, raw. Like we had some of the biggest like hardcore dudes on the show. And I just remember they would just be a completely different person when they would be on there. I remember Max B was on uh -huh. and man, this would be so wrong today, but Max B literally like, pulled out his penis because we were making fun of him. Like, oh, we don't believe Hold on, well, he did what? We were like, okay, yes, he did. But listen, what's funny is no one even cared. Everybody was just still talking. And then we were like, all right, are you going to put it away? Like, what are you doing? Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, 
like, okay. Because we were making, we were like, um, I forgot why he even did it. I think we were talking about it and we were like, we don't believe you. It's not. And he's like, nah, it's big. But, and he just did it. And he was just standing there like doing the show. And we were like, all right, dude. Like, and he was drunk. Is this before but, the day? Nobody was know? like, ah, you know what's funny? I have a whole bunch. I found um, all these DVD tapes I had of the show because we weren't supposed to tape it. And I'll get to that in a second of what happened. But um, I actually digitized a whole bunch of them and I have another box. So I have to see if it's in with those tapes. But it's incredible. Like some of the old footage that I have is amazing. Like I was looking at some of it. I saved it. I put it online and saved it, but I made it private in case I ever want to do anything with it. But when I tell you these interviews, I mean, like I have so many fun things. Nipsey Hussle's on there and, you know, he... He wasn't crazy like that, but he was on there freestyling on lip service. Um, Nicki Minaj was on there a couple of times, and that video is like available on. But I have so many interviews that are really, really I could only imagine. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.